Hi, I'm Rebecca Snyder, Executive Director of the Maryland-Delaware DC Press Association. I am delighted that you are joining us to celebrate the award-winning journalism and news professionalism of our member organizations. Today, we are celebrating the contest award winners for the 2019 Facts Matter Contest. If you tuned in yesterday, you know that we've celebrated some of our revenue generator categories, our salesperson of the year, and our targeted publications. Today, we have much more in store for you. We're going to celebrate design and photography as well as designer of the year. Before we get started, I'd like to again thank our sponsors, Ask CRM, Stevenson University, and Friends to Follow. Now, let's get started with our design category. Our first category is restaurant entertainment ad, large print only. And our winners are Katie Powderly in second place and Katie and her colleague, Michelle Fox, also of the News Post, in first place. Our next category is restaurant entertainment ad, large print only, in the non-daily category. In second place, Matt Metz of the Coastal Point, and in first place, Eric Lawson, Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette. And the best of show for the restaurant or entertainment ad in large print goes to Katie Powderly and Michelle Fox of the Frederick News Post for McDonald's and Arabi franchise. Congratulations, Katie and Michelle. Our next category is restaurant entertainment ad in small print, and this is our dailies category. Our second place winners are Samantha Bang, Katie Powderly, and Deborah Tyson of the Frederick News Post. And Katie Powderly does it again, placing first with her colleague, Talia Valencia. In the non-daily category, the winners are Matt Metz of the Coastal Point in second, and Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette in first. Our best in show goes to Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette, where the farmhouse is growing up. Congratulations, Kathy and Eric. Our next category is retail ad in large print. In the daily division, the winners are Anna Joyce, James Constantine, Kathy Reynolds, of the Frederick News Post, and in first place, Susan Short, Joy Ferrio, and Sharon Harvey of the Delaware State News. In the non-daily division, our winners are Eric Lawson and Cindy Bolin of the Cape Gazette in second, and Tara Aronia and Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette in first place. And the best of show for the retail large print ad is Tara Aronia and Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette for RC Carpet New Flooring. Congratulations to Tara and Kathy. Our next category is the retail ad, but this time in small print. In our daily division, the winners are Katie Powderly and Jennifer Albrecht in second of the Frederick News Post, and they win it again, sweeping the category, taking first. In the non-daily category, our winners are Eric Lawson and Cindy Bolin of the Cape Gazette, and Tara Aronia and Kathy McGinty, also of the Cape Gazette, in first. And the best of show goes to Katie Powderly and Jennifer Albrecht of the Frederick News Post for Field Fresh Farmer's Market. Congratulations to Katie and Jennifer. Now for business non-retail ad in large print in the daily division, the winners are 
Anna Joyce and Michelle Fox of the Frederick News Post. And Anna Joyce again, this time teaming with Connie Hastings of the Frederick News Post for first. In the non-daily category, our winners are Kristen Sinat and Cindy Bolin of the Cape Gazette, and Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty, also of the Cape Gazette, win first. Our best of show goes to Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty win it again, this time for Simple Beauties. Congratulations to you both. In the business non-retail ad, in the small print, in the daily division, the winners are Katie Powderly and Susan Worley of the Frederick News Post in second place, and Katie Powderly again, but this time with Talia Valencia in first place. In the non-daily division, the winners are Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty, the dynamic duo, takes second, and Matt Metz of the Coastal Point wins first prize. The best in show for business non-retail ad in small print goes to Matt Metz of the Coastal Point for Fenwick Pet Stop. Good grooming. Congratulations to Matt. Now the online only ad in the non-daily division, the winners are Mike Marshall of the Washington Jewish Week in second place and Danielle Frader of the Baltimore Business Journal in first. And the best in show goes to Danielle Frader of the Baltimore Business Journal for Feastival. Congratulations to Danielle. For multimedia ads in the daily division, the winners are Katie Powderly and Tal uh, Talia Valencia of the Frederick News Post, and that duo wins it again for first prize. In the non-daily division, the winners are Eric Lawson and Kathy McGinty of the Cape Gazette, and Taylor Brown and the staff of the Prince George's Sentinel in first. The best of show for multimedia ad goes to Taylor Brown and the staff of the Prince George's Sentinel for Experience the Sentinel Newspapers. Congratulations, Taylor. Now we'll shift to newspaper design. Our page one design in Division A, the winners are the staff of the Baltimore Sun, sweeps the entire category, winning first and second prize. In Division B, Caitlin Almansor sweeps this category for the Frederick News Post. In Division C, Greg Miller of the Star Democrat wins second, and Laura Black of the Daily Record wins first prize. In Division D, Sarah Travlos of the Catholic Review wins both prizes in this category. In Division E, Rachel Levitan and Caroline Swartz of the Baltimore Jewish Times win second prize, and Mike Marshall of the Washington Jewish Week wins first prize. In Division F, Katie Peterson of the Baltimore Business Journal wins second, and Daniel Cushion Jr. of the Prince George's Sentinel wins first prize. And the best of show for page one design goes to the staff of the Baltimore Sun for Pew Indicted. Congratulations. Our next category is feature page design. The winners in Division A are Tracy Rawson of the Baltimore Sun who sweeps both places. In Division B, Chad Trovinger of the Herald Mail 
places both first and second. In Division C, Ginger Garrison of the Daily Times wins second prize and Sally Covey of the Star Democrat wins first. In Division D, Sarah Travlo sweeps this category, winning both first and second prizes. In Division E, Susan Kim of the Business Monthly wins second prize, and her colleague, Pantea Tofanji, wins first. In Division F, the winners are Katie Peterson as a complete sweep of the category, winning first and second prize. And the best of show for feature page design goes to Pantea Tafanji of the Business Monthly for celebrating summer fun for you. Congratulations. Our next category is news page design. In Division A, the winners are Tracy Rawson of the Baltimore Sun for second, and Tracy and Leanne Adams, her colleague, win first prize. In Division B, the staff of the Capitol win first prize. In Division C, Greg Muller of the Star Democrat wins second, and Caitlin Ellingson of the Daily Times wins first prize. In Division D, Sarah Travlos takes both first and second prizes for the Catholic Review. In Division E, Jen Ellingsworth of the Cape Gazette wins second, and Ross Meadows of the Baltimore Jewish Times wins first. In Division F, Katie Peterson wins both first and second prizes for the Baltimore Business Journal. And the best of show for news page design goes to Caitlin Ellingson of the Daily Times for remembering Sarah Foxwell. Congratulations, Caitlin. In sports page design, we'll celebrate the winners of Division A. They are the staff of the Baltimore Sun in both first and second places. In Division C, because there were no entries in Division B, the winners are Caitlin Rowe of the Daily Times, winning both first and second prizes. In Division D, Sarah Travelos takes it again for the Catholic Review, winning first prize. In Division F, there were no entries in Division E. The winners are Katie Peterson of the Baltimore Business Journal in second, and Mike McClure of the Laurel Star in first. The best of show for sports page design is Caitlin Rowe of the Daily Times for Diamond Dreams Come True. Our next category is News Driven Informational Graphics. In Division A, the winners are Jared Whalen of the News Journal, in second, and Christine Zhang of the Baltimore Sun in first. In Division C, the winners are Jason Wong, sweeping both first and second prizes for the Daily Record. In Division D, Sarah Travlos of the Catholic Review wins first prize. In Division E, Laura Walter and Matt Metz of the Coastal Point win second place, and Jamie Fry of the Washington Business Journal wins first place. In Division F, Katie Peterson of the Baltimore Business Journal strikes again, winning both first and second prizes. And the best of show for news-driven informational graphics goes to Sarah Travlos of the Catholic Review for Class of 2019 by the Numbers. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next category is News Driven Art or Illustrations. In Division A, the winners are 
Leanne Adams and Matthew La Lumiere of the Baltimore Sun. In Division B, the winners are Caitlin Almansor sweeping first and second prizes for the Frederick News Post. In Division C, the winners are Dave Everman of the Star Democrat in second place and his colleague, Greg Muller, in first. In Division E, Chris Foster of the Cape Gazette wins second prize and Stephanie Redding and Carolyn Proctor of the Washington Business Journal win first. In Division F, Katie Peterson and Danielle Frader of the Baltimore Business Journal win first prize. The best of show for news-driven art or illustrations goes to Leanne Adams and Matthew La Lumiere of the Baltimore Sun. For Cops and Robbers, The Rise of Wayne Jenkins and the Gun Trace Task Force. Congratulations to you both. Now, it is time to announce our Designer of the Year. This is an award that honors a designer's body of work over the course of an entire year. Let's meet our nominees. Jennifer Ellingsworth of the Cape Gazette, Katie Powderly of the Frederick News Post, and Tracy Rawson of the Baltimore Sun. You can learn more about our nominees on our podcast, Five Dubs, at www.5-dubs.com. Let's hear what our publications have to say about our nominees. Laura Ritter, the news editor of the Cape Gazette, nominated Jennifer Ellingsworth. And she says, Jennifer brings a razor sharp sense of design to every project she undertakes. From designing nearly every Cape Gazette front page and news feature page, to editing and designing our beach paper and our numerous special publications. Always aware of the latest design trends, Jen has a talent for incorporating new ideas while also maintaining design elements that give our publication their distinctive Cape Gazette style. Anna Joyce, the creative director of the Frederick News Post, writes this about Katie Powderly. Katie understands particular demographics and markets well and she's worked hard to develop a style that appeals to them. An enthusiastic and engaged team member, Katie suggests changes to ad copy with an eye for writing benefit headlines. It's worth noting that this is her first design job, which she began two and a half years ago, so that when Katie came to us from doing marketing and promotions work from outside the industry, she was starting from scratch, learning about newspapers and newspaper design. Finally, Leanne Adams, the senior visuals content manager at The Sun, has this to say about Tracy Rawson. Tracy is willing to do what it takes to get the most compelling visuals for the pages she designs. Whether through her original illustrations, photo art direction, or design work, she's always looking for ways to engage the reader with the unexpected. Tracy has made an impact on our online design, in special projects, and in the pacing of the online presentation, as told through video, images, and quotes. She has significantly enhanced the story. Tracy brings not only her artistic sense, but also her news judgment to her work. What a wonderful group of designers. Let's see who the winner is. The designer of the year is Tracy Rawson of the Baltimore Sun. Congratulations, Tracy. Our next section is photography. The first category in this section is general news photo. In division A, the winners are Kim Hairston of the Baltimore Sun and her colleague, Jerry Jackson of the Baltimore Sun wins first. In Division B, 
Dan Gross of the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and Paul Gillespie of the Capitol wins first. In Division C, Mark Clary of the Delaware State News wins second prize, and Dylan Slagle of the Carroll County Times wins first. In Division D, Dave Harp of the Bay Journal wins second prize, and Matt Button of the Aegis wins first. In Division E, the winners are Ron MacArthur of the Cape Gazette in second place, and David Stuck of the Baltimore Jewish Times in first place. In Division F, Tasha Dooley of the Baltimore Business Journal wins second, and Caitlin Newman, her colleague, wins first. In Division O, the winner is J.M. Giordano sweeping the category, winning both first and second prize. And the best of show for general news photo is Jerry Jackson of the Baltimore Sun for historic house move. Congratulations, Jerry. The next category is breaking news photo. In Division A, the winner is Carl Merton Farron of the Baltimore Sun in second place, and his colleague, Jerry Jackson, wins first prize. In Division B, the winners are Bill Green of the Frederick News Post, winning both first and second prize. In Division C, Mark Cleary of the Delaware State News wins second place, and Dylan Slagle of the Carroll County Times wins first. In Division D, Matt Button of the Aegis wins first prize. In Division E, Stuart Dobson of Ocean City Today wins second prize, and Ron MacArthur of the Cape Gazette wins first prize. In Division F, the winner is Carly Milligan of the Baltimore Business Journal in second place, and Josh Shannon of the Newark Post wins first. And the best of show for breaking news photo goes to Bill Green of the Frederick News Post for seven townhouses destroyed after a massive fire in Frederick. Congratulations, Bill. The next category is feature photo. In Division A, the winners are Amy Davis of the Baltimore Sun in second place and her colleague, Jerry Jackson, winning first. In Division B, Bill Green of the Frederick News Post wins second prize and Graham Cullen, his colleague, wins first prize. In Division C, Scott Serio of the Cecil Whig wins second prize, and Ken Nolan of the Cumberland Times wins first. In Division D, Matt Button of the Aegis wins second prize, and Phil Grout of the Laurel Leader wins first. In Division E, Doug Capustin of the Howard County Times wins second prize, and Denny Howarth of the Cape Gazette wins first. In Division F, the winners are Maria Saren of the Baltimore Business Journal wins second, and Doug Capustin of the Catonsville Times wins first. In Division O, the winner is Ted Hen of the Baltimore Fishbowl in first place. And the best of show for feature photo goes to Graham Cullen of the Frederick News Post for Fire in Ice. Congratulations, Graham. Our next category is photo series. In Division A, the winners are Jerry Jackson of the Baltimore Sun in second place, and then the dynamic duo of Jerry Jackson and Lloyd Fox for first place. In Division B, the winners are Graham Cullen of the Frederick News Post in second place, 
and his colleague Bill Green in first place. In Division C, the winners are Brian Krista of the Carroll County Times in second place and Scott Serio of the Cecil Whig in first place. In Division D, the winners are Kevin J. Parks sweeping both first and second place for the Catholic Review. In Division E, the winners are Denny Howitt of the Cape Gazette in second place and Stuart Dobson of Ocean City Today in first place. In Division F, the winners are Donna Cipollini of the Tester in second place and Dan DeVilio and Leanne Shank of the Kent County News in first place. In Division O, GM Giordano wins first prize for the Baltimore Fishbowl. And best of show for photo series goes to Dan DeVilio and Leanne Shank of the Kent County News for strong turnout for revamped downrigging. Congratulations, Dan and Leanne. Our next category is Best Photo Gallery. In Division A, the photo staff of the Baltimore Sun wins first and second prize. In Division B, the winners are Paul Gillespie of the Capitol in second place and Graham Cullen of the Frederick News Post in first. In Division C, Scott Serio of the Cecil Whig wins first prize. In Division D, Matt Button of the Aegis wins first prize. In Division E, Denny Howith of the Cape Gazette wins second prize and first prize. Congratulations, Denny. In Division F, Bryant Richardson and Rachel Lord of the Seaford Star win first prize. In Division O, J.M. Giordano of the Baltimore Fishbowl wins first. And the best of show for best photo gallery goes to Scott Serio of the Cecil Wig for Ravens versus Steelers. Congratulations, Scott. Our next category is sports photo, an action photo. In Division A, the winners are Kenneth Lamb of the Baltimore Sun in second place and his colleague Kim Hairston in first. In Division B, the winners are Graham Cullen of the Frederick News Post in second place and Paul Gillespie of the Capitol in first place. In Division C, Mark Cleary of the Delaware State News wins second prize, and Scott Serio of the Cecil Whig wins first. In Division D, the winners are Matt Button of the Aegis, sweeping both first and second place. Congratulations, Matt. In Division E, the winners are Daniel Cushion Jr. of the Howard County Times in second place and Dan Cook of the Cape Gazette in first place. In Division F, Michael Smith of the Prince George's County Sentinel wins second prize and George Smith of the Montgomery County Sentinel wins first. And the best of show goes to Paul Gillespie of the Capitol for Diving Shot. Congratulations, Paul. We're coming up on our last category of the day, and this one is the sports photo feature. In Division A, the winners are Lloyd Fox sweeping the category for the Baltimore Sun. In Division B, the winners are Bill Green of the Frederick News Post in second, and Paul Gillespie of the Capitol in first. In Division C, the winners are Scott Serio of the Cecil Whig in second, and Richard Pollitt of the Daily Times in first. In Division D, the winners are 
Matt Button of the Aegis in second, and Brian Krista of the Towson Times in first. In Division E, Doug Capustin of the Howard County Times wins first prize. In Division F, George Smith of the Montgomery County Sentinels sweeps the category, winning both first and second prizes. And finally, best of show for sports feature photo goes to Lloyd Fox of the Baltimore Sun for Preakness Bath. Congratulations, Lloyd. And congratulations to all of our winners in the design and photography categories. And congratulations to our designer of the year, Tracy Rawson. Again, thank you to our sponsors, Ask CRM, Stevenson University, and Friends to Follow. Coming up tomorrow, we will award the prizes for online or mobile categories, video. We'll also award the Certificate for General Website Excellence, Commentary Categories, and the Highly Competitive Rookie of the Year. So I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Again, my name is Rebecca Snyder. I'm the MDDC Executive Director, and I am delighted to showcase the award-winning work of our journalists and news professionals across the region. See you tomorrow when we celebrate more of our 2019 contest.